Have you ever been car camping and thought to yourself, huh, this could use an upgrade? Well, that's exactly what I'm thinking. So today, I'm turning the back of the longship into a luxury glamping experience on wheels. And you might be asking, Bear Man, what does luxury camping even entail? Guys, I got a flat screen TV, my Xbox Series X, and we're going to be cooking up a five-star steak dinner meal. And y'all, super exciting. We got our first sponsor on today's video. Shout out to Haytrip. Thanks to them, we're going to be adding to the luxury experience, and we're almost tripling the size of our bed tonight. They also sent us a cool little awning for the back of the trunk, which will be perfect for some added privacy, because usually I just got the trunk wide open for everyone to see inside. I'll be doing top secret stuff back here in the longship. I don't want nobody seeing. And guys, I put a lot into this video, so I hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as I'm gonna. But as always, welcome back to Rolling with Bear Man. And if you're new here, welcome. I take the longship camping into beautiful places just like this. And I'm very happy to have you along on today's adventure. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get right into it. Time to glorify the back of this car. Let's roll, y'all. All right, y'all, first things first, let's get this tailgate tent set up. And it's cold, I'm gonna throw a hoodie on. And guys, it's pretty windy out today, so we're really gonna be putting this to the test. See if we can keep the wind out from the back of the car. Y'all know how much I hate the wind. And it should be pretty easy to set up. Just four steps, y'all. Sit down here. And I know y'all can't see me right now, but you hook this around the tire. And it should stay on. Look at that. Woo! That's awesome. Oh, I'm hyped on this, y'all. Not only gives you complete privacy from the outside world, which you know is very important when you're stealth camping, but it also completely blocks the wind. Like, it is super windy outside right now, guys. And I have the trunk wide open, and there's not any wind at all. Like, look. I don't know how else I can show you guys, but no wind. And you can see... The wind is pushing the tent. There's absolutely none getting inside the car. That's awesome. I like that part a lot. Now I'm probably just gonna chill with it like this because it's so windy out here and I wanna block that wind out. But just so y'all see how it works, I'll open it up, show you guys. And once it's later at night, the wind dies down, I'll definitely extend the full thing. But you see, this opens, this opens, and then, You could stake this to the ground like this, but because it's so windy, I'm not going to be doing that right now. And it's really not too hard to set up at all. The only thing that makes it difficult is the wind, and that has nothing to do with the product itself. I don't even think I've told you guys where we're at, but we are at the beautiful Huntington State Beach. And it is a windy one out today, that's for sure, but it seems like I always get super unlucky when it comes hey, to bro, wind yo what's up I anyways y'all ah and y'all if you're interested in picking yourself up one of these check out the link in the description and use my code you'll get a cool little discount and you yourself can glorify the back of your car into some luxury glamping all right y'all and this is my biggest pet peeve right here when people pull up like right next to you this whole entire parking lot is wide open bro like all right, let's get this steak all seasoned up. So for our five-star dinner tonight, we're gonna be making steak and potatoes. Prepping the steak right now, even though we're not gonna cook for another three or so hours. But I wanna show you guys how easy it is to cook up a delicious five-star meal basically wherever you want. Now in your head, it may seem like a whole process and a lot to bring, but I'm gonna show you right now exactly how easy it is. I have a beautiful looking ribeye steak today. We wanna get her nice and dried off. And we're going with the usual salt, pepper, garlic mix. Keep it simple. And obviously, I personally love being out in nature and just being outdoors in general. And there's something really cool, kind of special about cooking up a delicious home-cooked meal with a beautiful view. Whether you're on a mountaintop, lakeside, right on the beach like I am today, kick back with a delicious meal and enjoy the view. Nothing quite like it. Now I'm going to be cooking this entire meal in just one cast iron pan, and I'm going to use a pot to boil the potatoes. But it's practically a one-pan meal because you're not getting the pot dirty other than water. And no, you do not need a campfire every time you're cooking in nature. Today, I got my trusty Coleman camping stove. I got mine on Amazon for like 15 bucks, it was on sale. I'm sure there's one on there right now for no more than 20 bucks, so easily go pick yourself one up. Now we're gonna get it wrapped up in some foil, let it sit with that seasoning for a few hours. 
Let's move on to the next step of glorifying the back of the long ship. Let's get the TV set up, maybe throw on a movie. Get plugged into the Jackery. And y'all, I finally got a hotspot set up on my phone. So finally, we are gonna be able to watch movies without having a Wi-Fi connection. All right, y'all, we are posted. Got some Vikings playing, which has got to be probably my favorite show of all time. So go watch Vikings if you haven't already. This is freaking awesome, guys. I think I'm going to relax for a little bit, watch some Vikings, maybe get a little bit of work done. But I'll tune back in with you guys when we move on to the next step for dinner. And like I mentioned, I got my Xbox here as well. So we're going to be doing a little bit of gaming later. Probably not going to do that till after sunset once I get dinner made and everything. But that should be fun too. So stay tuned. I mean, how sick is this, y'all? Pretty sweet being able to essentially bring your living room wherever you want, you know? Sometimes it's nice to have a change of scenery. You get bored just sitting around in your living room watching TV. Come to the beach and watch TV. And just wait till nighttime when I get all the lights hung up, get the big mattress down, all the pillows. It's gonna be super nice. And I was starting to think that the wind was dying down, but I walked outside and it's still super windy. But I can't tell you how impressed I am with this thing. It's seriously keeping all of the wind out. But we should have a nice sunset in this freaking van blocking my view. But yeah, I should have a nice sunset overlooking Catalina with the clouds and everything. All right, child, it actually came with string, so I ended up tying it down. And you can see this clouds rolling in. Hoping it doesn't rain, but even if it does, I'll be perfectly fine because I can just pull this awning out and be completely sheltered from it. All right, before we get started on our next step of luxury camping, our five-star steak dinner, I'm gonna get my pretty lights set up, It'll look more luxurious, a little more ambient, get ready to cook up the steak. I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna approach dinner because I only have one burner, so I can only cook one thing at a time. So what I think I'm gonna do is boil up the potatoes first in the water. And once those are nice and soft, I'll set those aside. Then I'll transfer the cast iron over to the burner and I'll cook the steak on the cast iron, take the steak out, let it rest, then I'll put the potatoes back into that same cast iron and finish off the potatoes in there. Sorry if that's confusing, you'll just watch it play out. All right, let's get started on these potatoes. All right, let's get the cooking area set up. Oh, I'm gonna need to clean that. Definitely need some kind of table, that would help a lot. All right, let's get this water boiling. Oh, please don't spill. It's not too much, is it? All right. Get our potato chopped up. Got my big old skull. All right, let's see right here down the middle. Like that. And I don't have any salt, so I'm just gonna add some of this seasoning into this water. At least it's got salt in it. Now I'll let that come to a boil and then add our taters. And guys, listen to that wind. I even closed this little flap and it's still. But literally, not a single drop, drop of wind, ounce of wind, I don't know. No wind is coming in here. Look at the flame. Steady. Alright, let's throw some of these taters in. Oop. All right, try to do as smoothly as possible. Bound to spill a few. All right. Shoot, I hope that doesn't overflow, you know? I think I'm actually pour a little bit of water out. All right, let's see if I can do this without spilling boiling hot water on me. You know, I'm actually just going through the back. Uh-oh. It's starting to rain, guys. See the droplets on the car? Well, good thing we got this thing. I love how you can still access the back. Even when it's zipped up. Alright, that should be better. Alright, let's get back in there, y'all. Rain's coming. All right, I'm gonna let those boil for about 10 minutes. Just give these a stir. And you can know if your potatoes are done by sticking a fork in them, feeling how soft it is. Oh yeah, those are ready. All right, I'm gonna come around and drain that from the outside. I'll show you guys a trick for straining it if you don't got a strainer. All right, I really hope these don't spill. 
go in here with this. And that's my trick of the day. Cover these up, keep them warm. All right, let's cook this steak up. Get this cast iron nice and hot. Also got me some herbs and always avocado for your steaks. I know I've said it before, but high smoking point makes for a better sear. And it's better to have the actual oil, but the spray is just more convenient for camping. <laughs> Definitely got to get a little like camping bottle for it though. Coat the whole bottom of that pan. And we gonna wait till that oil is smoking hot. Quick pat dry. This also helps for a better sear. You want to make sure that your steak is completely dry when you go to sear it. Ah, beautiful sound. I'll let that go for about three to four minutes each side. Let's give her a flip. Coat the bottom of that. Look at that beautiful crust. And y'all can see on the rain, on the windows, y'all, the rain is coming. 81 internal. All right, then turn that way down. We're gonna baste it with some butter. 125. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull her off now. Throw that in there. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, we're gonna let that take a 15 minute nap. And while that's napping, we'll finish up our potatoes without draining any of that good juice. All right. Go in with these. Hey, splashed on me. Jeez, that wind is going crazy, y'all. Sound like a storm might be coming. Hoping I'm gonna be able to get that awning open, but we'll see. Get those nice and golden brown. I personally like my potatoes a little crispier, but pull them off whenever you want. All right. Go ahead and turn the heat off of that. All right, now let's go ahead and get this steak all sliced up. Oh, I didn't even use the herbs. Oops. I'll do it when I plate it. All right. Well, actually, we'll go into there with those. Ooh, this is looking good. Take the spinalis off. Makes for a prettier presentation still gonna eat it all though don't worry let's see how we did gotta sharpen this too oh that is perfect if you ask me oh yeah that's beautiful let's get this up on here oh yeah get some of these Herbs. All right, let's give her a taste. Oh, that's delicious. I swear, the steak tastes 10 times better when I'm camping. Look at that, y'all. That's gonna be good. Whew. Ooh, yeah. That is a good dinner. Not bad for just cooking up in the back of the car, if I do say so myself. Is that how that goes? Whenever I say it, it sounds weird. If I do say so myself, if I, if I may say so myself, I don't know. Let's try a potato. Oh, it's kinda hot. Hot, but good. Killed it on the potatoes. Perfect, soft inside. Not quite as crispy as I like on the outside, but Beggars can't be choosers. All right, I'm going to finish up this meal, and we'll enjoy a nice sunset together. So romantic. All right, catch you when the sun goes down. All right, y'all, the sun has finally gone down completely. It's time for the last installment of turning the back of the longship into a luxurious glamping experience. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the setup. Check out this little magic trick. Boom. We're glamping. Take a moment, appreciate how great that looks. Alright y'all, we're going back in time a little bit. Just want to show you guys how easy it is to set up this hay trip 
inflatable air mattress. And guys, I'm excited for this because this is going to take up pretty much the entirety of the back. So we're going to have a lot of room to roll around tonight. It's going to be nice. Oh, it comes with a nice little storage bag too. That's great. It comes with a pump that you can plug into your car. All right, so it looks like you inflate one section at a time. Yeah, and this is like pretty much a perfect fit for the long ship. There we go. And look at that, guys. We got our bed for the night. Oh, that's going to be so, so nice. Guys, it does not get much better than this. I'll tell you that much. This is going to spoil me. I'm going to want to do luxury camping every time I camp now. Still watching some Vikings. Wind is still going crazy, so I can't get the full setup, sadly. But I'll definitely show it to you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, this is so nice, guys. I'm in heaven right now. This is great. It's like the same size as my bed at home. Living like a king, that's for sure. We got 8.40 on the clock right now. Beach closes in an hour, 20 minutes at 10 p.m. But I'm going to push it right up to the limit. I'm going to be leaving at like 9.59. And from there, we'll go find somewhere to camp for the night. Oh, watch this. Braun. Ugh. All right, y'all, beach is just about to close. I'm gonna get the car packed up and let's go find a campsite for the night. Let's roll. All right, you guys, just pulled up to the spot for the night. I'm gonna get in the back of the car and I'm hungry again, so I'm gonna make a little grilled cheese. Let's get back there. All right, I got me a little grilled cheese going. Gonna make this up, set the car up for bed and then go to sleep. This mattress just conveniently folds over in half. So it makes like a little bench and I have the rest of the space to cook and do whatever. Super nice. God, f***ing hell guys. Dropped the freaking cheesy bread face down onto the f***ing napkin. All right, y'all got my bed all set up. And just look how much space I have. So nice. All right, good night y'all. Catch y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. Got an amazing night's sleep on this. And I'm not just saying that. Oh, that was nice. Give you a full review once I wake all the way up. All right, y'all. Just got me a little Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Didn't feel like making anything. Gonna eat this up real quick. Then we're gonna go post up on the lake and I'll give you my full final review of our Hatred products. Easy as that, y'all. Check it out, y'all. All right, y'all, now that I got the full Haytrip SUV tent and awning set up, I'm gonna give you guys my full in-depth review of both this SUV tent and this mattress that we slept on last night. Starting with the tent, you see we got the awning up today since it's a lot less windy. Yesterday, I didn't even wanna put it up because I had it closed, just blocking out all the wind, as you guys saw. And I gotta say, that's probably my favorite part about this product. It completely seals off the wind from the back of your cabin making it a lot easier to cook, prep dinner, and just to stay warm when you're in the back of the whip. And you guys know from past videos, the wind and the rain always be screwing up my cooks. It angers me a lot. And I also love how they added this little awning part. You know, for nicer days when the weather allows it, you can have it posted up just like this. Just kick it in the back of the car. Gives you a little more sense of privacy than if the trunk was just wide open. And gives you nice shade if you wanted to sit around here or whatnot. And this is what it looks like with the awning all set up. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you straight up. So as far as the functionality of the product, works absolutely perfectly. I'm super satisfied with that. Now it's also super easy to set up. Now if you've been camping before, I'm sure you know how much of a pain it can be to set up a tent. This thing is the complete opposite. It's super easy to set up. And this is the bag it comes in. So it's super compact, easy to store, easily folds up and just slips right into the bag. So overall, I'm super happy with this SUV tent. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10. And excuse the mess in the back of the long ship. Still haven't cleaned up from when I slept. But let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and give you my thoughts on the Hay Trip SUV mattress. This thing is legit. I was totally expecting this to be one of those cheaper inflatable camping mats. Kind of like the one that I usually use. But no guys, not at all. This is quality, durable material. It's almost like a real air mattress. Only difference is it's shaped to fit the back of your car. Yo, I usually do not get the best night of sleep when I'm sleeping in the back of the long ship, but last night I slept like a baby. Seriously felt like I was just in my own bed. I also love how this is able to fold over 
So you're essentially able to cut the bed in half, and if you want, you can just sleep on one side. You have the rest of your cab for whatever space you may want it for. So shout out to whoever designed this, because that is genius. I will say, when I have it fully extended, there's a lot of stuff that I gotta throw in the front of the cab, but that's really just based on personal preference. Had I wanted to keep it back here all night, I easily could have just kept this folded over and slept on one side. It also came with a nice little storage bag, which ironically packs up into a bag about a quarter of the size of my regular sleeping mat. So definitely gonna be retiring this from the car because this takes up so much space. So because of all that, I'm giving our Haytrip inflatable SUV mattress a perfect 10 out of 10 score. Guys, both of these items are definitely getting added to my list of camping necessities. I don't think I'm going anywhere without them from now on. So why don't you do yourself a favor, boss your setup up, go and pick up a Haytrip mattress for the back of your car and pair that with the SUV tent on and combo and you got yourself a luxury camping setup. And Haytrip is hooking it up for you guys. They're sending me a special discount code just for you guys to use. I'll throw the code up on the screen right now as well as in the description. You can go save yourself a little money at the same time boss up your setup. If y'all haven't already, go check out my last video. We went to the desert and we saw some more UFO activity. It was terrifying. I'm never going to the desert alone again. Too scary for me, but go show some love. All right, that's going to do it for today, y'all. As always, appreciate every single one of you for tapping into today's video. Subscribe, do like, bell, comment, all that good stuff, if you don't mind. All right, y'all, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.